Hello everyone, it's Kachiri for another Let's Play in Day. We're just about halfway done. And it's a game that not that many of you guys know. Um, most of you guys are familiar with the Banjo Kazooie Fontras. Fontras? Franchise. Super Speech Impediment. Um, <clears throat> this is technically. Well, I'll, I'll explain once we get into the game. Two months has passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, Gruntilla was buried underground. But she remains waiting for her sisters to rescue her till this very day. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> hey, Kazooie, I'll clean the barbecue while you clear things up in the house. Meanwhile... Clungo not Chef Rock. Mistress Gruntilda must not get out. Maybe Clungo makes something to help Grunty. <clears throat> what going on here? Mumbo wait behind bush and see. Ah, oh, what is that ugly thing? Mistress can escape if she use magic spell to get ghosts out from under rock and into Mecha Gunti. Sounds like something only Japanese people can make. Ah, uh, yeah, that sounded even more racist than one. With a Mecha Drunkery condo made, Banjo's favor will be repaid. I'll steal Kazooie and a blast. I'll use my suit to change the past. Without his bird, Banjo's loss. I won't give up at any cost. <laughs> Back at Banjo's house. <clears throat> huff, huff, Banjo, need get Kazooie, quick. Grunty back, look to kidnap favorite friend, a bear for evil plan. To change history, too late. Here hat comes. Well, I could've saved Kazooie if you didn't stop blabbing, you freaking skullhead. Now I have your feathered friend on my sisters I won't depend. With this duo split in two, there is nothing that I cannot do. Hotai Kazooie will move quite fast to travel back into the past. Girl, we can't let Grunky do away with this. We got to go get Kazooie back before something awful happens. Mumbo used strong magic, send Banjo back to the same time as Grunty. Banjo tried to find ancestors of Mole and handsome young witch doctor. They helped Bear get Bird back. Hope magic not Hope Magic did not have too many side effects. <clears throat> Doing a little dance, getting down to the night, going back to the past. Creepy little green and pink little spinny things ish. All right. Wow, that was some light show. Sure hope Grunty didn't spot you. Sorry to frighten you, Mr. Moser. I'm feeling a little dizzy. I wonder, could you show me the way to Gruntilda's castle? Grunty's castle shall be built. You must be Banjo. A little about you appeared in a flash like you just did. Came from some Mimba Jimba fella. Mumbo Jumbo. No, it's true, I tell you. Ch -ch Proof said it, and proof, and there it was, said you need some help to remember a few moves you forgot them from your trip. By the way, can you call me Bazai? You'll need to learn the pack whack first, so I left my lessons in the next mole hill just north of here. Press A and I'll come a running. One more thing, be sure to bring 10 musical notes with you. I ain't doing this for chili. You need to collect notes to trade for moves. Cheap ass fuck. Anyway. Um, this is the third Banjo-Kazooie game made for the Game Boy Advance, clearly. Um, uh, this game was, um, is made to be kind of like a bridge between Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. <coughs> um, I'll grab you in a second, quit calling for help. Okay, um, quick things, you know what, fuck it. 
You just found a Jingo, you Jingo's ogre, and she'll tell you more about these creatures. <laughs> anyway. Um... So far, we can only move around A's jump, pause with Soa stuff, we can continue on. Um, we get the totals, so Spire Mountains, I'll, you know, yeah. Musical notes are kind of like coins, they're currency. Um, the more notes you have, the more moves you can buy. Well, not buy of sorts, but... Um, here, I'll show you. <laughs> Wow, well, now that's more like it. Let me see them notes. Here you go, Boz Eye. Okay, now let's see. You can use your pack to whack things. If you're standing still, just press B to trigger the pack whack. You'll need to get into the Jiggy Temple. Just whack the switch on the floor to open a door. But before you go into the temple, why not try talking to the Jingo Order? She might be able to help you find your bird. I think Boz Eye see you in the more. I hate tutorial stuff. Anyway. We now have the B button that lets us whack stuff. And what's up here? Ooh, we can't jump all the way up there yet. But there's a lot of neat stuff cleaning that. That's a jiggy. Get more on jiggies later on. But we can swim. Yeah. Anyways, every world uh, has a hundred of these notes. You collect them to get moves. <clears throat> um, out of the 600 notes in this game, you only need to collect uh, 470 of them anyway. Let's talk to this person. Why do you describe the great oracle of Jingo? Sorry to bar you. I was just wondering if you could help me find my friend, Kazooie. Seek the sky of Jingos and return to oracle. Then the oracle will reveal all the secrets of Jingo Dom with a press A. Ooh, mysterious. Not really, Banjo. The Oracle does not get around much and requires fresh gossip for your lost Jingos. Impressive! You knew my name without asking. It is written all over the manual. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, thanks, Miss Oracle. I'll go find some Jingos and call back later. Gruntilda has cast a spell on the Jiggy Priest. She needs your help and assemble to the south. Anyway, so we gotta go south. Later on, we'll be able to climb up that, and we'll be able to attack and while jumping. Um, every world, there's five Jingos. We need to find them all. Also, every world has two of these. Look, oh, like you pick up your first. Am I using a banjo voice for Mazai? Uh, take a look beside your Spire Mountain to get your health bar extended. Anyway, hate those little tentacle beasts. Ah! Uh, no, no, skip, skip. I don't want to hear you anymore. He's just saying that there's three kinds of energy. Uh, there's regular ones that give you one health, and then there's ones that give you two health, and then if I grab a question mark energy, even if I have full health, it'll randomize how much health I'll have, which is kind of dumb. Did not mean to get hit by you. So that was a two, you break him. Oh, the, this one. It doesn't randomize, but yeah, I could have lost all my health there. You guys probably would have laughed. Anyway, open up this door to the Jiggy Wiggy Temple. If you played Banjo Tui, you know what this is. First off, we grab a Jiggy. You have just collected your first Jiggy. Jiggies are powerful objects, king and magic, starting to free spells of the Great Witch Gruntilda. Gruntilda has scattered all Jiggies far and wide, and lands, whatever. Jiggy priests can't touch them. Um, as with every Banjo Kazooie game, one Jiggy is good enough to open up the first world. There are five worlds in this game, other than this hub world, and all the worlds, all six of them. Six of, six of them. Man, I am doing epic with my speech impediment today. All six of them has. Let me open the tutorials. Ten Jiggies in it. Get jiggy with it. The net, net, net. Okay. Anyway, we activate the portal. We don't have to do any kind of mini game like in previous Brando Tui's and Kazooie's. And we're all good. We need six Jiggies to go into the next world. Anyway, let's run up here to Cliff Farm. Oh, we got 25 notes all together, so let's get our new move. Right, Banjo? It looks like you got enough notes to learn the underwater dive. Great, I can't wait to take a dip in some watery crevices. Let's see, you need to find a spot for plenty of air, stick places with bubbles rise to the surface. When you're in the, near them, bubbles just press R to take a dive. While you're down, use the H from higher. Make sure you keep topping up for your air supply. Oh, and press R to head back to the surface. <coughs> oh, man. 
I didn't know I was playing RPG. Massive wall attacks. Oh, also each world has their own specific color of Jingo. Anyway. Kill you, grab a couple of you, and then as he said, with our new move, when there's bubbles, we could go underneath. To the Cliff Falls pool. Grab all of these and then grab this. We now have our first jiggy in the new world. Yay! Everyone's all happy. Can't open that yet. So let's start killing things or and grabbing these nodes. I am going to try to 100% every level whenever we enter them. Anyway, do we have a new move? Come on, let me get our new move. <coughs> right then, Banjo, you've got enough notes to learn how to climb. Looks like I'm going to need to use this move pretty soon. Okay, all you got to do is find something like a ladder or vine, then push up a control pad. When you want to get off, to press A, let go. Anyway. Can't go up there yet. I think we have to go up there. So, now that we can climb, ta-da! Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Climb on the way up here. Climb! Oh, look, sounds like this is Jingo! One down. Oh, who are you? I do not want to jump on your head. Oh, please, I mean, my curl currently has started to my eggs and taking them down this slippery slide. Sounds like you could use a hand. You always have to spring slide and knock you off the course. Oh, my poor chicks. All right. So we go in here, we get our first mini game. Now we got to slide, and then we have to grab 12 eggs while sliding and avoid those things. And we did it. Yay! We get out of here. Whee! Oh, my eggs. Thank you. Here's a little something to for my appreciation. Another jiggy. <coughs> We're just grabbing them like hotcakes. But see, this is a Banjo Kazooie game, so it makes sense. Gra run all the way back up here. Well, we're pretty much 20% dumb. This we are 20% dumb. This world. Yay! Climb sideways. Oh, what's this on the open? Another jiggy. What's this? A pool we can go underneath? Another jingo, which leads to jiggies. Don't you guys just love collection based games? Anyway, I did not mean to fall. But we can jump up here and get another jingo. Kill that guy. Woot. Got another note. Ah! That monster scared me. Ah! Let's see, let's look around some more. I am now completely turned around. Ah, farm heights. Let's not go up here just yet. So I want to finish up this part of it. Because I left, all the monsters respawned. There's the two time thing we were staring about. Did I go underneath? Oh, you can't go underneath that one. Thought you could. Whoops. My bad. Oh, there's a sheep thing up here. Yeah, hey, I'm having fun. I'm not be beer. I don't think they want to play anymore. Grunt weed. Oh, you stop playing with little beers. Save us from the bad grunt weed. Okay. Boom. Easy. And we get another jiggy. We got five jiggies out of 60 so far, guys. Anyway. Make sure I didn't miss any notes. Because it was definitely suck if I miss a note. Anyway, what's down here? We got more notes to grab. Yay. All the way down here. Oh, well, we're back at the start of the stage. All right, now it's time to go to Farm Heights. We backtrack. That means you hit. Stupid thing. Grumble, mumble, grumble, mumble. Uh, 
Uh, I like the backpack. Can't wait till I get the red tat tat though. That's gonna be an awesome weapon. And when we're now in Farm Heights, which is still in Cliff Farms, just a different segment. Whatever, I'm gonna do. My five little chicks are out playing, and the farm's crawling with monsters. What if they eat my babies? Well, think about where you say, okay. Find a way to repay a cardness. Oh, it's, her name is Mama Clucker. Anyway, cut him real fast. Now we gotta look for little baby chicks. We just saw one in the bottom of the screen. So let's go down here. And we got one. Yay! Go into the water and grab these if we want. Can we jump out of the water? No, we can't. Making sure I get all these real fast. It makes a path. We To a jingo! One more jingo left and we got all of them in this stage. Hip hip hurrah, hip hip hurrah. Anyway. Back on the path real fast. Ah oh man, if I was small, I could probably enter that. Oh, don't hit the chicks. Why was I doing it? I was trying to hit the chick. Oh, Bonjo with the baddies. Uh, wait, it doesn't feel safe to ba And, wait, what? Okay, power castle and hold the button the further the bite will flip me like go. You can catch some. Oh, okay, so I gotta catch 12 sheep. I hate mm, some of these mini games. But this isn't that bad, I guess. Mind you, the last time I actually played this game was like five years ago, so I'm not like 100% sure where everything is. And I think I got this down pat. I don't know how I grabbed that one. Need just two more in 10 seconds. And of course I missed that one. Oh crap. <laughs> that was close. Bra bravo. And of course we get another Jiggy. That brings us to five now. I don't think I need to keep on going up. Oh! We need six for that one. Let's do this. Let's get the last move. <clears throat> Alright, good. So you brought enough of the glitter stuff. Try this usual roll attack. This plus B wire on the moves is in. And really, why not have a roll so and switch over there? Sounds like this attack I'm looking for, Bazai. So we move, and then we hit B. We roll. We now have 75 uh, notes in this segment. Section. Segment? Section. Anyway. Go over here real fast and grab that. And then grab this. We pretty much almost have all the notes, which is a good thing. Oh, we gotta use climb up there. But I don't want to do that just yet. Gotta make sure I get all of them over here. Especially that. Well, that's Mumbo's hut. This is where we're going to turn to a mouse, where we don't have a Mumbo token yet. So we're going to skip that just for now. Grab all these. <clears throat> Gonna move all the way down here real fast to grab the other one. Eighty-eight. So close. I don't think we. Yeah, we could. Huh. Been a neat place by Jingo. Ouch. So now we get. More. Okay. Seriously? I hate swimming in some games. Grab the fifth and final chicken, and she, you know, if we bring her back safely, she'll give us another jiggy, so let's go do that. Gotta go all the way down here. Wait, how do I get back up? Oh. I am a dumbass sometimes. 
I am probably going to die, but it's a good thing. We have infinite lives in this game. So we go all the way down here. Not down that way. Up this way. Then jump off of this. Oh, do not want to roll into them. But I do want to smash you. Get all my health back. That is how you do it. How did I get stuck in the wall? I don't care. Anyway, mm -hmm. I brought your tricks back, safe and sound. Thank you. Please have this crusty bit of straw-colored stuff that I found. Yay! Another jiggy. That's our seventh one for this level. You know what? Let's go in here. Bluff barn. Oh, there's a teleporty thing here. I wonder what this leads me to. Oh, it's a boss fight! Clungo make grunty monster size. Chop up grunty weeds and whip lashes for Gruntilla if Gruntu. I don't know how to say half the stuff you say. Anyway. <clears throat> huh? How did Bear get past with you watch Clungo's sicker room? Clungo to get a better taste of new formula. Anyway, so what we do is. Well, you wait until he attacks. He has three hit points, and then you hit him. When his shield is down, you hit him. Very simple. Come on. Shield be gone. Yay, dodging him. Come on, shield be gone, shield be gone, shield be gone. Ugh. Come ouch. Health. <clears throat> and he's dead. Uh Colin have enough whatever. Colin will help Garden get ready to make Bear Skin rug. He leaves. And you get a mumbo token and a jiggy. Not a bad trade. Well, uh, you knock some magic out of Grunty. He might be a fine use for it. Whatever. Another rat hole. So now we know where two are at. So let's jump up here and get that. Let's jump out here and get that honeycomb we saw earlier. Oh, that's the second one on this board, I think. Wait, is that the second one on this board? No, first one on this board. This is another one to be found. Okay. Good thing I checked. Mumbo's pad, let's look around. Anyway. Do we have to hit A on this? No. Banjo have a new item for Mo. Want to hook this around? Turn Banjo to something now? Okay. Yes. He does his magic, and now we have the power turned to a mouse! What's neat in this game, you can turn into whatever animal you need to turn into in pretty much any stage. Which is awesome. Anyway. I'm gonna call this mouse. Use mouse to squeeze in small pastures, use a jump this thing, and yeah. And you can nibble stuff. Like that. Okay. I don't mean to make these videos long, but, you know, I don't want to have that many. Ouch. That many uploads. So anyway, let's go into here. Into the rafters, where we get our fifth and final jingo. Bring them. A new award awaits. I'll do that a little bit later. Anyway. <clears throat> Run from him. And if I remember, the other rat hole was over here, or mouse hole was over here. Which has another one of these, so now we got both of them. Don't want to get hit by those. Let's fall down here. See what's down here. On our way out. And then we go up. Oh, there we go. Wait for it. Yay. We collect our 100 notes. That's gotta be a record. And on that, bring that down. Which is an elevator. Which when we hop on the elevator, we go up. And get that. So now we need to leave. 
Get back to Mumbo to get turned back into a uh, bear, well, bear sans bird. You like what I did there? Oh yeah, secret passage. All right, we will run back up to him. Yes, change. <clears throat> Brings up the menu of subterranean too. You can see that the uh, everything else is all question marked out. I Meaning there's going to be four more transformations in this game, or four more, three more question transformations in this game. Aye aye aye. <clears throat> anyway. Let's get out of here and run back to the start of the stage to get the last piece of thing we need in this world. And then we're six, a sixth of the way done with this game. Yay. <clears throat> if only I don't get caught up on stuff. Keep on running, keep on running. <clears throat> My throat hurts from trying voice Congo earlier. Jump, jump. Go <laughs> way down here. All the jingos have been found on the farm. I only hope the Brigo Beats jingos will be just as lucky. Okay. So Brigo Beats sounds like the next stage. We're gonna go into totals. And we have everything. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so, Next time on Let's Play Bando Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, I'm going to go open up the next world and go to it and collect everything on the way to it. I'll see you guys later.